uh, uh, done the acting for the Candyman okay. and all that. So yeah, he uh, he's got that really recognizable D voice for sure. So um, I thought that was really cool that they got him to to do the Venom voice. So that that should be a really unique take on the the voice acting for sure on Venom. I can't wait to see how it's gonna all play out. No, absolutely. I mean, it's definitely gonna look to be an interesting one, and obviously, <clears throat> not to bash Marvel. But they've kind of lacked in games for oh, a yeah, while. Yeah. Like Before Spider-Man was just... Yeah, and now we're going to... Obviously, we're going to be getting that. And since they did so well with Spider-Man, they obviously gave him Wolverine. Yeah, um, and then now we're getting... And Wolverine being done by Insomniac. It's like, wow, okay, this is going to be pretty fun. I think it's... Um, one, they've been showing a thoroughly good job consistently across the titles they release. So... Mm-hmm. It's like one of those things where I'm not afraid to buy any Insomniac title and worry about, am I going to like this? Is this going to be a good game? It's just kind of given that it's going to be at least a decent game. But I think the yeah. freedom they'll have with Wolverine that they didn't have with Spider-Man in the sense that, like, I mean, even we've there's a bunch of memes, obviously, about the whole fact that, like, right, Spider-Man can't kill anybody in the game. You can, but, like, they really, you know, anybody you knock off the building gets webbed to the side of the building, right? Like... They go out of their way to, like, not do things like that. And I think with Wolverine, they're going to have a lot more freedom to try more mechanics, right? Finishers that are a little more... I mean, don't get me wrong. Spider-Man's finishers were great, etc. But it, once again, he's just limited to, like, what he's allowed to do. <laughs> so it should be a fun game. I can't wait to oh, see yeah. what's going to happen on that. And then we also get Midnight Suns, which, uh, you know, I'm not really a fan of the turn-based kind of RPG games. But still, I know there's going to be tons of people oh, yeah, that are going to be happy I, with this game. So I'm just happy they're doing something. Mm-hmm. They have all these great characters that are basically ripe for game exploitation, you know what I mean? And they really have lacked since 2000, I'd say, on any really super impressive games, right? Until Spider-Man, mm-hmm. everything before that was infrequent and bland um the last really great marvel game i remember before spider-man was another spider-man game so <laughs> right right but so yeah, can't wait can't yeah. wait uh, oh, yeah, to see what they game. what they're gonna do um i feel like there was another marvel game coming out too but I, oh uh, duh guardians of the galaxy coming yeah, out this yep. uh next month yep so we'll get that like i said they really went in all all in on it i was and once again i'm just kind of surprised it took them so long more than anything, because they, they, and maybe uh, I'm going to give it to they were focusing on the cinematic universe, right? Yeah. They've spent the last 20 years building the cinematic universe, but not 20, but, you know, 12, whatever, 13, mm-hmm. uh, 12 or 13 years building the cinematic universe. And now it's stable, right? Which they're proving mm-hmm. with things like Shang-Chi and the TV shows, right? Where they're like, look, we can branch out and make money without losing fans from movies or losing revenue from the movies and we can still do these things and so yeah. you know as critical as i want to be you know because once again we've we've talked about how marvel lacks in certain areas like animation most of the time uh yes. movies games what well, ifs have been really good have did you uh oh yeah i really enjoyed marvel zombies last week uh, uh i you know it was a real clash for me because i liked it but I really wanted a dark story. And I knew they couldn't give it as dark as Zombies yeah. was. Like, yeah. they would never. But even this was, like, so laced with comedy and stuff. And I, don't get me wrong. I still enjoyed it. And it was a nice thing. But, I, man, I just really wanted that vicious ending of, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, man. Yeah. That's but there were some pretty good moments. I mean, oh, like absolutely. some people exploding from, you know, uh, oh, fan yeah. uh, going into them, literally going in them. And, oh, and yeah, no, they, they, and like, it was, there was, it was it had still some good. moments. Yeah, it had yeah. its moments and, for and sure. The, I will say they definitely stuck to uh, what I call zombie gore in the sense that you can do anything to this zombie and it's not considered R-rated because they're not alive, <laughs> right? Like yeah. you can cut a zombie vertically in half and it's all good. And you can, right, uh, right like... Uh, and, there was a couple of scenes I was like, "Ooh, okay." Mm-hmm. No, no, right, absolutely, that was, that was absolutely. Cool. <laughs> I, I definitely loved it. Like I said, I I had wished for more, but I'm but, I'm understanding yeah. of like they cannot do that for what is essentially yeah. a kid show, right? Like this is essentially Even the Doctor still Strange a kid show. one was kind of was pretty. It dark, was dark. Like, that, that uh, well, one, you know, one. you think about it. The last three of them have all kind of followed in the darker. Oh uh, yeah. What if story? Whereas the first two were a little more kind of positive some ways right like t'challa fixes the galaxy and 
uh, Peggy Carter was kind of just standard, right? It was the same ish story, which a lot of people were like, Oh, you know, the, this episode was like, it's just the exact same as every other. What if it's just a, what if story? It did its job. It, it, it plays on the original title a bunch. Yes, but it has, it's, it's, they're all right. You could basically pick almost most of these out of a comic book somewhere. You know what I mean? With maybe exception of star Lord T'Challa, which I don't think they've ever had anything like that in the comics, from what I can remember. Well, I guess except for, you know, when T'Challa was in space, but, and did the whole Wakandan galaxy. But, it, but yeah, I think that they did a, a really good job on interpreting them, because the what-if stories can, are honestly, as, as comic books go, most of the what-if stories are not that great. Like, as yeah, a comic the... reading experience, they're very, mm-hmm. they're not always very well put together. Mm-hmm. or thought out because they're just one issue most of the time yeah the last ones that i, I like they did though the oh yeah the, like the, years ago, the last there was that what if magic was i guess uh queen yeah the... doc, you like the doctor Str- sorcerer supreme, supreme and then yeah. i think oh the other one i liked too was that uh it was the peter parker with what if he was punisher so, like, okay few, no 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 there was yeah a couple other ones that were like yeah we're in all that great. like the x-men one i didn't i didn't care for which was like all that ma- like it was like a matrix kind of thing i don't know if you remember that one with cable and domino yeah that one was okay it was that was playing off a whole nother once again all the what yeah. ifs play off of, and that's one thing they've done better is now the what ifs play off of like events most mm-hmm. of the time instead of character events mm-hmm. whereas it old what ifs were like first meeting of wolverine and the hulk right right yeah what ifs are what if schism went differently or what if uh secret invasion happened this way right with osborne and infinity Mm -hmm. gauntlet and i will say for the last and i for the last 20 years probably all the what ifs have actually been decent like decent (laughs) even if they're not good they're better than some of the old what ifs were yeah, in definitely. the very kind of classic and not dissing them either. Cause I loved reading them and they're very interesting. They have interesting concepts, but they're written very old. And some of them you can tell were written that week and we're like, all right, we're pushing this out. Uh, whereas <laughs> these new what ifs, uh, you know, we only get them every couple of years. So yeah, they have a lot of time to work on them, shop them, uh, most likely approve ideas that have been filtered through. Right. And so I think they do a pretty good job. I think one of the most, recent ones i saw that was one of my favorites was not from the most recent run but the run before that and it was what if flash thompson became spider-man and killed peter parker i think it was oh yeah that one was in the yeah that, that was yep that was the punisher one i think yeah yeah it was it pretty was, cool uh, and then he's yeah, yeah that was a good one kid. like i said they were, good one. they were they have good ones I, i'd say about half of all the marvel what ifs are pretty good but the other half are mediocre to not great. That's just you know, um, stats. Uh, let's see. So uh, other games that were kind of because it, w- it was a Gamescom, I think, this week, last week. Oh, uh, uh, Gamescom was last week, and then we had uh, what was it? PlayStation. Oh, it was a PlayStation Showcase. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah, that okay, was that's what. Where... That's where everyone's popping off right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, well, the one of the, the big things too that I seen that I, um, was Star Wars: um, The Old Republic being remade for the PlayStation. That's uh, gonna be only, cool. It's only exclusive though. For, for, for we'll see. Maybe it might, might be only timed exclusive. <laughs> did, did and you Xbox see? had the uh, exclusive to it originally. That's why I thought it was funny because they originally had the rights to it exclusively. And now yeah. PlayStation has the rights to the remake exclusively. So it's kind of funny. I think it's um, really funny to me because I don't know if you saw the tweet where uh, <laughs> where Xbox was like, I, th- "This messed up." I thought games were supposed to be for everybody. I didn't know you only wanted people to play on one console. Unfollow. <laughs> they just oh posted God. it on Twitter. Because <laughs> they had, like, Spider-Man and a bunch, right? Like, And I don't know, man. The, the whole thing with game exclusivity for me is it's cool in a lot of uh-huh. ways. And then it, it's, like, both directions, right? So business-wise, the reason you do it is to create, like, a specific target market, right? Cause yeah. If you do the exclusivity thing, uh, you just anyone who doesn't have your product cannot play, right? And then therefore will not buy. But the point of it is so that they want to buy your product so bad that they go out and buy your system, right? Like that's the whole point is like, right? Spider Man's so good, you have to go buy a PlayStation to play it, or yes, yeah. you know their collection of games. And so yeah. that's the whole marketing strategy behind it, and I like it. But I feel like a lot of games have actually not done the greatest because of that uh, mm-hmm. from Sony. 
Having said that, they still do actually make really good choices as far as um, what games they choose to make exclusive. Like, they only really choose games that people really want to play <laughs> to make exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> They're good um, at it. And then uh, some of the other things, I guess, that they talked about was um, the Forspoken gameplay trailer finally came out, which uh, looked pretty good. It looked really beautiful. I'm excited to see exactly more of what the project's going to, you know, the be more of uh, but yeah i'm excited for this that kind of game and um i know they showed that to us last year um so we've been waiting for some gameplay for a while on that one let's see uh of course i think i don't know if we talked about it but uh wolverine was something that was finally being in development uh for by insomniac i know we talked about it, but i don't know if we said it on the show <laughs> right um, um but, no yeah but yeah, and it, yeah. That, uh, that looks pretty cool too i'm so excited you know insomniac sent some really great games um, so I'm excited to see what they what they have planned for this. Um, oh, and I, you know what? How did we miss that? I totally forgot. The one of the biggest things that also came out last week was the Matrix Four trailer. Ah, uh, yeah. There had actually been a ton of things coming out. Like, I keep getting things in my inbox to be like, go put this on the channel or whatever. Or look at this and right. react. And I'm like, shit, man. I gotta go find the time, because realistically like even just in that one drop right like we got uh what were they talking about they they did obviously all the guardians of marvel stuff we already covered but they had like the new battlefield the new far cry uh they had the new fucking uh or not new but they had the the finally had the trailer stuff for death loop that i don't know if you remember that one oh yeah the isn't that that uh hito yeah uh his game yeah it did, looks I thought, really didn't good. that finally come out or is that was that no a, i think it was just a DLC, trailer right i think dlc but i think it was just a, the trailer finally came out and you actually got to see real gameplay okay uh yeah, it was, it's, it's release always... date isn't till two days from now so okay okay think, yeah i was always so confused that. about that game i was like oh, what are they doing with this game it's but, just an yeah, i did game. watch a little bit of it yeah i remember yeah and i was like well, i still kind of a little confused uh, but it's gonna have, be yeah i don't know uh dying light 2 they did which oh, i didn't see that one yeah uh i mean if you like dying light i wasn't really like the I biggest like the first one, but, one the first yeah. one was fun um, um yeah, yeah it was you know, kind of a neat idea with the parkour zombies no uh, no i mean in, so. it, it was it interesting was i think it just didn't take off because of more networking than other, anything honestly mm -hmm. oh uh that horizon forbidden west has some more stuff that was and that revealed. got pushed back though i think yeah, right because it it's supposed it to come out this year yeah okay uh sifu looked pretty interesting but that's just because i like any japanese based game oh, so like, yeah um there's another one that looked pretty cool ghostwire that one looked interesting um but we'll have to, I'll have to show you that trailer later um let me see what else we had here on my list um they had a lot of like i said they really did show a lot of stuff oh gotham knights i forgot about that yeah, they yeah. did. We did get to see some more gameplay of that, and that looks so yeah, fun. Looks I good. can't wait to play Once that. Once again, one. I mean, uh, we talked about it earlier, but DC has actually uh, upheld their gaming stuff really well since they broke in with the Batman Arkham series and the DC uh, Mortal Kombat crossover stuff. They've really just kind of held their oh, ground. Uh, now that you're saying that, the the animated uh, Injustice yeah. trailer just came out. Yeah, we actually put out a reaction to that at some. Uh, while back. Oh, nice. Oh, or nice. Maybe, well, yeah, are or you uh, excited scheduled. for that? I'm. I like Injustice. I will say, I think the trailer could have been. Oh yeah. Love the comics. Been... Oh, yeah. the, the Love, the comics. Love the comics. I do feel like. So there's I wonder some if they're the going to be going off of that more of, or if they're going off more of the so from the games. Games. Well, to be fair, the games are based on, or the comics are based on the games, not the other okay. way around. So they just go a little bit deeper into it, or yeah, just more story. It's more linear, right? And in the game, you have the dual option, right? Like. Batman wins or Superman oh, yeah. wins. Yeah. The the comic just picks one of those options and you play through that run. Um and they just do more, right? Like so the and a lot of it is fo actually funny cuz it's some of it is like tied into right characters showing up or not showing up. Right? Like so the whole point of like uh in having by the time Injustice 2 comes around I can't remember if you have Shazam or not in Injustice 2 video game. But uh okay. You know, I just I don't, don't think, remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I want to check, but it. Uh, 
I don't know why I want to check, but <laughs> I, I think you actually did have Shazam because I feel like they couldn't take him out because he was just too fun to no, play. No, I think he was in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, let me see what else I have here. Yeah, there um, he is, Shazam. Black Adam. Oh, no, not, uh, not, no, Shazam isn't in there. It's Black Adam. Oh, it was Black Adam. Oh, yeah, right. you're right. It was and, Black Adam, I think about and it. And was Shazam in the first one? I can't remember. I, I haven't played those games in a very, very long time. Uh, same. Like, I, I didn't play them that much when they were. Yeah, same. Yeah. I wasn't. So, I liked Shazam. That. So, the I, reason I Shazam's not in Injustice 2 is because Superman kills him in, in the comic books. Okay. Right? So, that's how they mm -hmm. move characters for the video game. <laughs> uh, oh. and But, yeah, they would like a great... I, I will say the, t the trailer itself was a disappointment just in general mm -hmm. just it could have been done so much better and i know that it would have only taken like two more scenes uh -huh. like i said the the real one they needed to do to get the message for the video cross was the superman hand through the joker's chest scene which is classic from the game and the comic so it's mm -hmm. right that's that's a dual shared and it'd be something that if they don't do people will not be happy i mean obviously once again he has to kill him to go through with the rest of the plot you know what i mean like so i don't know and everybody knows that right like anybody who's checking out injustice probably knew about injustice before they knew about regular dc shit if they weren't a comic book fan they probably checked the game out before really knowing right all these characters or all these things because you would know superman and batman maybe wonder woman and right but who's gonna know atrocitus and right from the regular uh universe so i really wanted to see some more of what the series is which is violence and why it bothers me is i know they've already done it with justice league war and justice league apocalypse right and all these other dark animated shows they've released there's no good reason not to but other than that i mean i'm excited for the show i just didn't i thought the trailer was boring okay <laughs> Let's see. Um, they did give us some more trailers that we haven't really talked about. They oh, yeah. got the um, Pokemon. Let's oh, see what yeah. is it. Uh, isn't it it's brilliant? It's a Pokemon movie coming oh, up. But movie. This is like a more. Oh, there's a new movie coming from Netflix. But then there's also a eight episode anime called Pe uh, Pokemon Evolutions. I didn't hear that. And it's actually that. a more kind of like serious tone. On like po Pokemon, like and you are can they gonna tell, die? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they do in the comic. <laughs> you can tell the art, the art style is not like it's more of a typical anime that okay. you see anywhere else. I, it's not like the I did see Pokemon yeah some of it. it anime we've seen. Yeah, I think you, it looks... you, you'll for sure tell. Like as soon as you see the Pokemon, they they all look very anime-ish now, like even more. <laughs> yeah. So uh, um, yeah, it, we'll see how that goes. That, that's I, it. That'll be interesting. That debuts. Uh, actually, that should have already debuted. Yeah, September 9th. I was gonna oh, say, and it's already on their YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check that out, um, it's on the Pokemon YouTube channel, and yeah, you get to check out these yeah. eight episodes. Yeah, they have a bunch of shorts everywhere for a bunch of stuff. I mean, it looks good. I will say yeah. it. Uh, the style actually reminds me of the video games more than anything. Yeah, uh, more, yeah. Just that 3DS kind of pushed down mm -hmm. to a cartoon style, right? Where it's this more gritty, new age style, you know what I mean? Like, they started right. drawing everything kind of fancy. and. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I'm excited for that. I'm really excited for the Pokemon movie and for the new Pokemon games coming out, which are really just re-releases yeah, again. Yeah, cool. I can't wait to... Although the... they, did well, have some, I... they did have some specific ones, but they weren't Pokemon Pokemon games. They were Pokemon themed centrics kind of like pokemon go pokemon eevee and pokemon yeah. uh Rangers. well i know they have that one that's supposed to be like the one that we've all been waiting for uh, oh you're talking the to one that's the new coliseum right yeah it's like a it's like that new, oh, i don't know i can't remember what they called it but it was that new uh they were going in the new di direction with the pokemon games and this one was like kind of a newer style um i can't remember what it was called though you were even like you were even catching the uh, the Pokemon like in real time. It wasn't taking you into like you know a turn based kind of system. Right. And you, had, it, 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 you were actually fighting the the Pokemon in real time. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Um, I'll, I'll look it up here later. But uh, yeah, there was that one. Are you talking about Legends? It's a new one supposed to be coming out next year. 
Pokemon Legends Arceus is the the one that's coming out next year. Maybe that might be it. Let's um, see. I'm pretty sure that's the one you're thinking yeah, of. It Pokemon also has Le- the more. It's called yeah. Pokemon Legends Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. That's Arceus, which is the um, I believe Arceus is the god Pokemon. Okay. Cool. Nice. Uh, so I'm not. I'm not a super. Have you checked the Pokemon. Have you checked the trailer out for this one just yet? Uh, I've checked a little bit out of it, but it's it just hasn't been thing because once again they do stuff like this from time to time there's yeah. another game that does that where it's kind of real live time fighting and um live pokeball throws and stuff i don't mm-hmm. remember if it's ev or um another game that does that where it's a it's much more live and it's yeah a that was a pokemon style. eve and that and it, that one was cool but it was i don't know there was there was a lot of things that they didn't that they were missing, and a lot of people, I guess, well, are more excited yeah. for this one because it, it actually it was hitting Looks... a lot of the points that they were wanting, and that, and to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, the problem was Eevee was their first try out on that, really, yeah, and then they had exactly. Pokemon Go, which was really their second outing with yeah, that kind yeah. of whole live action thing, which I actually think they learned a lot from because they kind of understood yeah. more how people interact really with like live action more stuff. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't know. So but, yeah, we'll see yeah. when that comes out. Yeah, I, I'm something. excited for we'll that see one. How that comes out is what I meant to say. <laughs> I, I'm just happy that that one's coming out at all because they really have. They really don't do a great job at releasing new Pokemon games. They basically it's always re- the same. Yeah, kind it, of thing. Even things, besides even with the, the newest race, one they did, you yeah, know, what, even what was the, uh, the newest Sword and Shield. Was yeah. it Sword and Shield? Yeah. yeah um, I mean, it, it was nice graphics, much better graphics, but it was literally, it was still the same Pokemon games we've all come to love, you know, still. But, um, it, you know, it's cool to just see something different and yeah. try something. My thing is, oh, geez, I get a call on Facebook, I think. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> That's always helpful. Messing up the show, man. <laughs> yeah, messing up the show. But I'm looking at the game now. It okay. still is a turn-based kind of combat system, but it's it. all done in real time now. That's what I like about it. It doesn't take you, you know, like it, that's what I like. It just gives it more immersion to me, at least in that point, you know, instead of you know having to load and then go into the fight and then load back out. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It looks it looks pretty cool. It looks interesting. Um, oh yeah, that was another cool thing. It looks like you can fly around too with the the big giant birds. <laughs> Yeah, it should be a real fun one. Like, they really opened it up to be somewhat more. Uh, what's it? Open worldish. I yeah, feel yeah, like. yeah. Open world is what I'm looking for, and really, that's what we've always wanted from a Pokemon. Yeah, that's the, exactly. The, yeah, exactly. The problem is building a Pokemon game like that is, I guess, it's not that difficult. It, it's just different it's coding, Skyrim. right? We look at Skyrim, and that's that was something that set the bar up really high. For a lot it of did. Open world games. It did, although Skyrim is even different than Pokemon in the sense that it doesn't have the same level of progression type, right? Yeah. Like, Pokemon's a very structured game from its onset in that you need to level up to get to the Elite Four. You can only go through certain areas, right? If you don't have Cut, if you don't have Fly. And so it's always been built as a closed-world game. And so they're just going to have to restructure gyms. They'll have to, re- like, more wild Pokemon battles, I'd guess. Like, you, they'd have to make it so that pokemon around your level attack you yeah otherwise being in that kind of level of open world game is gonna like i mean Mm -hmm. it still would be possible but i think they'd have to add some more stuff into the pokemon dynamics than just the gyms and the battling you know what i mean yeah yeah exactly um let's see what else we have here oh um they finally finally i know people have been waiting for this when this game come out i think two years ago uh, the new God of War game, the DLC Ragnarok, is finally dropping. Um, I feel like, yeah, that, that game came out like two years ago. Um, but yeah, they finally gave us a little bit of a sneak peek of what... Fat, uh, they're giving us their version of Fat Thor. <laughs> um, so we got to see that, and we got to see... Which uh, is so funny Kratos because... And the sun again. His, it, wow. It's so funny to me because uh, Thor is traditionally, typically depicted as kind of chubby in norse mythology he's not like this super cut picture of oh, like my yeah right that's, it's a very we've seen the marvel comics yeah we big, and even blonde. dc comics right like dc comics yeah. does the same right picturesque greek but realistically they weren't like the greek guys like the the Nor- norse gods were very much more like humanish and had like 
problems. I mean, so did the Greeks, right? They they had their thing, but the the yeah. the the Norse were even more in the visual appearance, right? Like Odin was scarred even though he was the head of the pantheon, whereas the only Greek god who has any malformities is Hephaestus, and he was basically, like, pushed off Olympus for it. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's interesting to see him. But, yeah, I'm Uh, super excited, especially because we know we're getting a trilogy. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's God of War. We're getting a trilogy, right? Like, I don't have to, like, wonder. It was the same when Gears came out with Gears 4, it was like they had done four or five games before that. They weren't going to do one game and stop. You know what I mean? It makes too much money. It's a popular title. And as long as they do it well, people will keep coming back to uh, to do it. But it looks good. I mean, I'm hoping to see some changes in the combat system. So some advancements, you know what I mean, after a little time. Yeah. Well, we um, – well, remember, because I, I think towards the end of the game, we didn't get the uh, Chaos Blades literally almost towards the end. And so – it's going to be nice to see if they're going to add more towards, you know, to the Chaos Blades in the next uh, round here. I'd actually um, much prefer that they did what they did this last one, I is like, just give him a total. Because basically, I mean, I he did, always like, has. Axe. axe is cool. The axe was cool. No, no, no. I won't admit that. That was cool. You could throw it and then it boom, comes right back to you. Like, there was, it had some really awesome moments. But I guess to me, I'm just like uh, still a fan of them, them, uh, them OG Chaos Blades. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i yeah, i see what you mean it'd be cool to see maybe even a new weapon too would be nice too the pop up as well because I, I don't know how many weapons did they end up in the uh towards the end of the game was it really just the the axe the, the, the chaos blades and was i felt like there was one more i th- i don't remember but the, the the even beyond that right that first game that's different for kratos kratos typically has tons of weapons throughout his games right the yeah, first couple gods tons, of wars yeah. are tons you get a new weapon every couple minutes right and you have to level them all up and do different things they all have different moves which i felt like was actually a strength of the that first one was the fact that it was an entirely basically new weapon even kind of dissimilar from some of the other ones he had fought with in past games some 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 yeah, similarities yeah, but it, yeah. it was unique enough that it was very good i believe the third one is when they kind of switched it up where it was more different weapons and i think they what they did in the first and second one there was more of like the chaos blades did different abilities they uh, did but he I, still had so many, he so still long, had yeah. uh they had a bunch in even two where he would get like a shield and uh yeah yeah and i remember yeah, like i, I said I, it was a I, I it was a game game. big <laughs> they're, they're very fun. fun they're super fun but like yeah, even in his original one, he had the Gauntlet of Zeus, uh, the Blades of Chaos, which then you added the Chains of Olympus, and yeah, there we go, yeah, right. And then he had the Sun Shield, the Triton's Lance, uh, the Blade of Artemis, the Blade of the Gods, the Blades of Athena, the Ra- You know what I mean? His thing was weapons. That was one of the great parts about playing God of War was you could just you know Chaos Blade the whole time and win the game easy. Or you could just fuck around with any weapon in the game. And not to say, like I said, that they didn't have that at all in the the new series or whatever in, in the new God of War boy. But, <laughs> boy. But uh, I think that was a strength because it made you focus more on the story a lot. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, gameplay was great as well. But I think a big part of the game was story that made it even more so impressive. And don't get me wrong, God of War always had a decent story. But this one was just done to a, a level higher as far as storytelling goes. And then the changing to third person, right, helped also to, like, yeah, uh, give it a storytelling aspect as, as, as opposed to the old, like, moving top-down kind of almost arcade camera angles. Or I'd really... Yeah. They, they really reminded me of Prince of Persia cam- camera angles, if you remember that game. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, uh, the original that sure. Assassin's Creed. People have been talking about that one coming back, but we'll, we'll see. But uh, the, I think we should be yeah. cutting it here shortly. Oh, yeah, um, I was going to bring up just some last two things here. Was I know that they are giving us a... Um, Arlstein has a um, eight unique like anthology series coming out this Halloween. Uh, it's going to be called Just the Beyond, which he's been doing uh, in the comics for a little bit. He has some trade books that were kind of for kids. Um, but I picked him up just for me and my son to read. But yeah, he's got a new TV show that's coming out for Disney Plus, And I think that should be up starting October 13th. Nice. Um, we also get a Lego Halloween um, episode as well special. I think that's on October 1st. Um, what was some other stuff here? Um, 
the last thing I wanted to bring up was oh, the Muppets uh, Haunted Mansion also is oh. coming out as well. I'm being so that very should be cool. In that. Yeah, yeah, I love I, I, Muppets. I, yeah, <laughs> me too. Exactly. And then uh, last thing I wanted to bring up was just the just you know the happy moments from September I think seventh. Um, we got to see Steve back from Blue's Clues just to give us that a was good, yeah that was happy, warm <laughs> feeling. <laughs> Dude, I saw. So if I you guys don't watch that video? Check it out. I mean, yeah, that's very cool feel good. Up on Blue's Clues, it, it's just even, you know. Even if it didn't, it's just a very feel good video. That's something you could just show anybody and just be like, yeah, you know, this is very nice and but, heartwarming. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I had. And then I know Marvel has a, a ton of. Uh, things planned in their their comics over here Um, (laughs) yeah they they got too much they always do overdo it i don't know what their problem is with focus the rick and marty shorts have also been great too i don't know if you check those out i haven't i've been (laughs) wanting to i haven't watched they're not really that long they're like 10 15 seconds honestly but still it was cool to see uh, isn't it the one with doc brown or whatever yeah 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 yeah, so that's i heard i heard about them i just hadn't actually checked them out yet the same kid that was uh that plays the older brother from the new it movies oh okay that's for georgie yeah so he he was the play morty That works so out. That, uh, yeah, so it's cool. And then, oh, I guess I wanted to bring this up to you too. I don't know if you heard the news, but they are really going in with the One Piece stuff. They already got the logo out, and they have the script already it. being nope. being written. Nope. The script's being written. No, nope. the script's being written. No. Nope. <laughs> as as a huge huge fan of One Piece, <laughs> no. Okay, that's that's too loud. No, uh, and once again, I love One Piece. Like One Piece is literally my favorite. Uh, universe like if you were to right. pick a pick a fictional universe and say you had to pick one i'd pick one piece which is wild to say but it's just so well made but i don't think it works in live action i just don't see it looking well, i good. think they just netflix just has a lot of confidence in all their anime I, stuff that i guess well just, yeah. <laughs> the other thing is whether or not it looks good one piece has such a rabid fan base it doesn't matter yeah it does it literally doesn't matter uh, I always and then, like where do you even start? Like, what do they plan with this? Like, do they plan to keep going on for like for a thousand episodes? It right? Just yeah, make like no for sense. The... Like, I don't know but, how they can well, do it. it. It makes sense if they can make money. You know, yeah, I mean, as long as they make money, money yeah, that's all that matters. I just in, in and, the plot and sense, I, like I don't know. And what I know, do, I know or, for I a know. fact, it's gonna do the same thing. Even if it's no good, it will do the exact same thing. Batman versus Superman did. So many people know. Remember Death Note was remember a lot of people. Yeah, like, Death Note's no you, don't, you, you just Death Note is nowhere near as popular as One Piece. Just not even close. No, it's, not, not as popular, but I'm just saying for like the general public, you know, like a but, lot of people. Well no, but that's what I'm just saying is it, but... is like there's just no fan base. It's not comparable is what I'm saying. It's like Death Note is cool no, no, and no, it was no, no, it no was I'm not cool. comparing it. More just like maybe just they general public will end up loving it and the anime fans will have know. to just be pissed because everyone's like oh that was actually a good movie <laughs> i don't know they might they might and it might go well i don't think that i don't think death note did that i think people who had never never seen no, death note well, that's liked the thing. it okay yeah, like, no, just like people you know just general people who don't oh yeah know they do who don't piece, know one piece yeah they'll, they'll they probably might yeah. not give a shit yeah, yeah uh like, <laughs> so having said that yeah we'll it, it definitely it. like i said i think it rides the batman versus superman wave in the sense that even though it's not good it's so famous that so many people are gonna watch it and hope it's good so even if no one likes it it's right like <laughs> that's that's with anything you love i guess that's the same thing with I, that when i watched those alien versus predator movies i wanted them to be so good but like yeah, they were I all still, right i still really do like them but they're not that good a lot of people no, don't like them and, they're they're not I still they're, like them. yeah they're not objectively <laughs> the best movies but they weren't that bad either right they were kind of mediocre but I think for us it was second once again one, just, yeah, it was like uh, the second one yeah. for sure. The first one was a little bit better, a little yeah. bit. It was still a little wild, but it had a lot it of. It did hits. make it came out with some cool creatures. Like I ended yeah, up yeah. liking the wolf predator and the pred alien, but the storylines yeah, yeah. were not. Yeah, that Yeah, yeah, and and unfortunately, uh, especially aliens has always been a plot right heavy around monster hunting. Yeah, that you're saying aliens space. too. Uh, you should check out the comic from Marvel. They're kind of doing some They're different doing, things with aliens. I don't know if you've been, been reading going, the story. Yeah, I've been doing a couple um, of them. I've only read two of them because I think they got a bunch. Of they're going, going more they? along the lines of like. They're kind of like this ancient entity almost kind of thing, which is almost kind of true. But then like there's this. 
there's almost like this woman alien that this one of the characters see sees throughout the books and his visions. Mm. Um, you you'll have to yeah you have to just read it and it's a uh, definitely an expanding. I know some alien fans are not having it. Yeah, and a lot of people are, more, are really and more of just like it. It loses the mis the mystery and the of the you know, and I, I can see that too. It does in some way, but then another thing is like, well, you can never really expand the stories because it's always just the same thing. And then I don't know. It's you, I it's guess rough. you just never have. You can never have you know the perfect. No, recipe you can't please. <laughs> you can't please everybody, bro. You cannot yeah. please if your mo If everybody likes your movie, I actually think there's something wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm serious. Like, I, I was like, either people like got tricked, or it's like it's literally it doesn't work like that. There's always somebody who doesn't like it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so, I don't want to. I don't want to keep you too long. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, that was it. That's all I yeah, had yeah, after yeah. that. Was pretty much that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll I, see what we what we have for next week. For sure. I mean, there's definitely going to be plenty. I think we definitely, even though once again COVID moving up and down in numbers or whatever, I think we've passed the area where people are not making things because of COVID. So I think people have finally either adapted or right. Yeah, said, they're, Fuck it. they're getting they're getting past yeah ways of yeah trying to right. You and, know. and we knew they could. It, it's we have the technology right. But uh, yeah, so it's looking to be really hype. Good. I'm I'm hoping that we get a lot more great stuff. I still one thing I didn't get to check out was um and we didn't talk about was Shang Chi. Oh, well, you have to go check out Shang Chi, man. That well, I, good thing we didn't because you didn't go see it anyway. So yeah, <laughs> I had it on uh, the back burner just in case. Sure. It was. Uh, I heard I it really was good. It. I, I will say uh, this, and it's very rare, very fucking rare that a movie comes out and nobody is bashing it online. Yeah, it's yeah. very fucking rare. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah, assume yeah. that this movie is at least pretty no, it's good. fucking I, good. I really enjoyed it. It's uh, for sure. It's, it's again, it it's good. one of those things where like you know, Ant Man feels like its own thing. Yes, um, and it should. They all, they all should have their own feel. They're, they they yeah. should be a superhero. The soundtrack's slash really good. The sound, I, like if you I, like the soundtrack in the trailers, yeah, yeah, yeah you like it. I'll, I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. I love when they do fusion music. You know what I mean? Hip hop, Asian hip hop, right? Like yeah. I love that stuff. But uh, it, I'm excited. I think they should be that way. Cause when you uh, can, when you can, yeah. I would uh, I, if we see as soon as possible. <laughs> fuck, I really want to check it out so I don't get too many spoilers or anything. But I'm I'm trying oh, to like wait for just, it on my. Before we uh, end the cast too, you'll be really, really, really happy with the character that ends up returning in here. That's all I'm gonna say. You're gonna uh, die. What? All right. How did, what? All right, uh, I'm excited for it. I'll check it out. Ah, oh, fuck. I, it, yeah, like I said, I the only not, I was seriously not expect they they hit that pretty good because it was that's... not in the trailers or anything, and I was like, what? He's I'm, in. Uh, just, all right, just, all right. I'll just, have to just, check just, it out. I'll have to check it out. Um, I'm excited for it though. Uh, like I said, it's. It, I think it's a good example. Of the last thing I want to say before we just cut the stream, of the fact that we talked about before that superhero movies are not going to just. They're not a fad. I don't. I think ten or twelve years plus has proven that this is no longer a fad. This is a new type of movie. The ser yeah. superhero genre is now a genre. And it needs to be crossed with other genres such as spy movies, right? With Black Widow, with martial arts movies like Shang Chi, and it need they need a cut, right? It needs to be superhero comedy, superhero tragedy, superhero, right? It, it's it's a genre now at this point. Like, and anybody who argues against that is not looking at the number of comic book movies that come out every year compared to every other movie. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, we'll, we'll get, like I said, it's gonna be good. for the end of the year, and there's still more oh, stuff yeah. to come oh, out. So much and, stuff. Still. Uh, Eternals, yeah, we'll, Venom. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll do it Eternals, next time. Yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, everything. So yeah, we'll talk about some more next week, and uh, we'll get ready for spooky season. Oh yeah, it's spooky <laughs> season. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on Comic Convos. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.